What's up guys, welcome back to another figure review. I'm Logan Chitwood and today I'm reviewing a special figure from Planet Toys, Baki the Grappler. We have Yujiro Hanma himself. And I have two versions of it right here and I'm going to be showing you one that's facing forward and one with him showing his demon back, which is my personal favorite right here. I had both options just to have them and I will be reviewing it out of the package as well. So let's get into it. All right, here he is. And guys, this is the only figure to date that's posable, movable, that I know of, of Yujiro Hanma. Other figures or statues, is what they would call them, is what they have created. I, I know of like two or three other Yujiro Hanma statue figures that are available, but this is the only action figure, posable action figure, that is made to date until Storm Collectibles comes out with their version of Yujiro Hanma, which is going to be incredible. I can't wait to review that one and receive that one when it comes out. But let's get into it. This figure is about 9 inches tall, 9.8 to be exact. It's a very tall figure. He's huge. Let's get into the detail of him. Detail is incredible, man. My favorite things about this figure is they captured his physique perfectly for the date that this came out. I believe this figure came out in the early 2000s. The box, it has a date of 3-31-2014 on it, but I don't know if that's when it was um, released or not. I think this is an older figure, but don't uh, quote me on that. I'm not for sure. This figure was only available in Japan, and you can find these now on eBay for prices from like 200 maybe 300 or 400 dollars just depends if you get them inside the box or out but they are available on ebay this is where i got all of mine and um guys he only comes with two hands and we'll get to those later but right now let's get into his facial features his facial features are captured almost like a younger yujiro from the early early stages of the manga and anime and uh, they captured his face very well. I'm very um, impressed with all the features of this. His eyes are red, just like from the original anime, uh, Baki the Grappler, so that's accurate. And um, his pants are the only thing that are not accurate. Didn't come with the sash. It's only black pants, and I wish it came with the white sash, his belt, around his waist. That would have made for a very cool feature for this figure that would make him more accurate. It didn't come with another face or another head, which on the back of the box, it shows another head, but it didn't come with it. I don't know why, but it would be amazing if they would have put a different head with it. He comes shirtless. There's no options for a shirt on him. So if you did have a shirt, you'd have to get it custom made or from a custom figure creator that makes clothing for figures. Let's get to the details of his demon back. And this right here, looks sick man this figure is really really cool and it's uh, very well worth the price of 200 300 dollars that's either inside the box or out if you uh, want them outside the box for people that take you know videos of figures stop motion or just pictures of figures it gives it the option of very different movements that are very accurate for for yujiro hanma so um i i got him in my a power-up pose like if he was from Dragon Ball Z. Let's get him into the demon back pose with his hands. Let's move, remove these hands real quick. And they're very easy, unlike SH Figure Arts figures. These are very easy to remove. I wish all figures came like this. That's just not the case with a lot of figures that are made nowadays. These older figures were made so much better in my opinion. Let's get him into the pose. His trademark arms out demon back pose. He comes with a stand right here. I'll put him in the stand. So, and this is how I uh, display him right here. Let me get it accurate for you guys. Who are gonna roast me in the comments if I don't get this guy accurate with this demon back pose. Here we go. Somebody will still find 
a flaw in this pose. But here he is. This looks sick, man. This is a uh, probably my favorite figure, of course, because it's Yujiro Hanma for one, and it's the only one that you can find. Can't wait for the the Storm Collectibles Yujiro. It's gonna be incredible. That's gonna be the goat, the greatest figure of all time for me at, at least. But uh, this one is sick, man. One thing about the shoes I didn't point out though. He has socks on, which I don't know why, but in the show he doesn't wear socks on, you know, with the shoes. They painted like socks on here. That's the only thing yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like, ah, they could have did differently, but there's really no complaints with this figure. The size of it, it's, it's a massive figure. His legs move out for kicks or the ax kick. They go up pretty high. His arms move out. You can put him in punching positions, jumping positions. Um, He's very cool. I just wish it came with a different face. So he made it like, you know, gritting face or the, you know, <sighs> his laughing face or his um, gritting his teeth face. But this one's really cool, man. Like the demon, like I said, the demon back looks awesome. He's ripped up. They have details. Um, the features of it looks incredible. You can make his arms go out, hiding the demon back or showing those muscles on the demon back. The upper torso moves up and down, as you see, is doing a crunching position. If he was going to the gym, doing some abs, and speaking of going to the gym, doing abs, or needing energy, I'm sure Yujiro Hanmo wouldn't mind some energy, extra energy. He'll need a G Fuel. Guys, I'm back with G Fuel now. This company is amazing because they feature different animes, different video game characters on cans or on tubs. They have energy drinks or hydration drinks in case you like caffeine or if you don't want caffeine, you have that choice of getting an energy drink or not. Um, my personal favorite is this Dragon Ball Z Kamehameha can, not just because it's Goku and Vegeta featured on it, but because the flavor is amazing. And also, zero calories, no sugar, no colorings or dyes in it. The, uh, the liquid's clear. I, I try to stay away from the, all the dyes and all that. Only 140 milligrams of caffeine, so it's not going to make you all crazy and jittery. Um, they do offer a little bit more higher caffeine cans, but this one comes at 140 milligrams, so it's not too bad at all. Tastes great. Gives you the energy you need. You get 20% off. Yeah, 20% off. That's crazy, dude. I would use that if I was you. Other than that, man, well worth the price. Find them on eBay. It came straight from Japan. It's an amazing figure. The color of his hair could have been a little bit better, um, a little bit more red, more accurate to the anime, but they did really good on, on everything else. His eyebrows look great. Like I said, his muscles are great. He's very ripped. Um, other than that, man, I'm very happy with this figure. Of course, it's Yujiro Hanma, the ogre. This thing's very motivating. He's a very ripped character jacked muscular has abs on his back abs right here so you guys know this guy is powerful i'm very happy with this figure you can move his hands up you can move his hands down so those are flexible you could put the hands up or down that's very very poseable right there the arms go down the arms go out everything looks great on this and um i just Wish they would have made more. Other than that, very cool figure. Go get him. He's the GOAT. We all love you, Jiro. And if you don't, man, the ogre will come after you. But if you like my figure reviews, subscribe, like this video, comment what you want to see next below for figures. I got a lot of them, SH Figure Arts, all kinds of anime. Whatever you guys want to see. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. It does help out. And until the next one, I'm out.